Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Voyages in Time. Uh, this is, uh, first off, happy Armistice Day, which is uh, when you guys should be watching this video, Armistice Day or Veterans Day, as it's known in the United States. Uh, I just wanted to make a video saying what's going on with the channel and my plans for it. Uh, so first off, what the heck is this channel? I know some of you have come from my uh, other my other gaming channel. Let me turn that music down. Um, and so this is a sort of an introduction for them. But uh, in short, I'm going to try to make this short. Probably going to fail. Is that this is something that is going to be like an education-focused channel um, that I want to do uh, within my means. Because uh, as of right now, I'm not somebody who has the resources and uh, certainly not the time, uh, at least right now, to do really big sweeping history videos. The kind that I enjoy quite a lot, actually. Stuff like I Epic History TV. I wouldn't be able to um, you know, spend the time editing something of that quality together. Uh, but that's that's I guess you could say it's a stretch goal. So let's talk short-term goals uh, My short-term goal right now for the channel once I start putting some stuff on it more regularly is uh, I want to try to hit 1,000 subscribers and get access to the community tab Which I think is a great way to you know, communicate with your community and then once I've hit that thousand subscribers, I could then start thinking about things like live streams and monetization and long-term self-sustainment and things like that. Uh, I actually typed up something uh, a couple of months ago uh, for a marathon live stream idea I had for a 1,000 subscriber celebration stream. But that's the card ahead of the horse. But I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read from that thing I wrote uh, when it happens. Uh, so let's, I guess, start with the bad news, right? Uh, I was always told you should do bad news first. Although that doesn't really work with YouTube because if people watch less of a video, the longer it goes, then they might only get the bad news. But, um, the bad news is pretty big bad news, uh, that I hope everybody will understand. And if anybody's upset about it, I completely understand. There's certainly nobody, um, more frustrated about it than myself. Uh... Anyway, uh, let as you know, I'm sure one of my uh, doing a total review episode by episode and more of of the Legend of the Galactic Heroes is one of my highest ambitions. Um, but I find myself intimidated by the scope of the show and also by my, especially by my personal standards of what. Uh, this review series should be because I want it to be something that encapsulates the the, the span of the characters, the world building, uh, the parallels with our human history, and that that alone, like the human history parallels, would mean comparisons with historical figures, historical trends, philosophy, etc. Um, there's the music, which is mostly non-original music, but the usage of which is central to the show, and so, of course, that would encapsulate me talking about the original music, um, in its context. Um, I've had ideas that go beyond just covering one episode at a time, but doing, like, spin-off thematic episodes, maybe at the end of seasons, uh, covering characters, but also overarching themes, and if this sounds like a lot to ground to cover that's because it is uh like even if i did a channel where i did the bare minimum maybe i'm just doing a five minute review once a week of legend of the galactic heroes only covering the episodes that would still take me over two years to do that's not counting movies and stuff uh and the show is complex and only grows more complex with time so episode especially after that first season um episode length bloat meaning of the of the reviews of it length bloat is going to be inevitable they're going to keep getting longer i already know it uh and i just don't think that i'm good enough because I, I don't really have experience at it i'm not good enough at that sort of thing to do a project of that size a multi-year project uh justice so as a result i've spent an enormous amount of time reflecting on it 
and uh, have decided to postpone at least until January, but m much likely much longer, I'll say right now, uh, working on the Legend of the Galactic Heroes series. So in the meantime, I'm going to be doing two things in regards to the Legend of the Galactic Heroes, like with that goal, the, law, the goal is to do that. Um, the first thing is I've, I've been starting to take some personal notes on, on things, on st episode structure, review structure, overarching themes, concepts I want to incorporate, looking at the, uh, series, not just one episode at a time, but in a broader context, both internally and externally. So, um, that actually sounds more complicated than it is, but it's, it's just basically, I'm starting to jot down things like, okay. I want to talk about this when the time comes. I want to talk about that when the time comes. Uh, so I, I guess maybe to... Should I use a literal example? Okay, so like for example, one of the books I've been reading right now in my own time, I've been reading this... Uh, I've been reading The Penguin History of the World, and there's a couple... Like, I'll see something and I, end, and I think that's something that... Um, that's a concept, or that's something that could be brought up in Legend of the Galactic Hero. So I go, I want to make a note of that. Uh, you know, that's something that's like, you know, halfway through season two or whatever that, that it's going to happen. But let me jot that down so I bring it up when the time comes. Uh, but the number two thing that I want to do, and this is, I think, the more important one, is uh, I'm going to be basically practicing... Um, trying to get to a level where I feel comfortable doing those reviews where, where are these, it's not really even just reviews, the reviews and analyses, it's the more important part, is uh, I'm going to be practicing making uh, first individual videos and then maybe one or two short series analysis to get my feet wet in this sort of thing and cover, and also cover other things that I'm interested in, I'm not going to say what those are for now, I'm not even saying they're all going to be anime, but they'll probably be anime because that's what I'm going to be reviewing so better to practice in the thing that you're doing i'm going to keep those a mystery for now but just for example whereas legend of the galactic heroes is a 110 episode anime uh one of the ones that i'm thinking about doing a shorter thing of is just six episodes uh so you know that would be a project that just if i did one thing a week it would only take uh six weeks really five weeks because there's the first one that just drops and then anyway uh I guess like a, a simpler way to, to compare it is it's a uh, Brandon Sanderson who's a science fiction and fantasy author some of you may know. He has this book series called the Stormlight Archive which is uh, four books in it's going to be ten books eventually they're all massive but he's been cranking them out at an amazing rate and um, I would say it's it's pretty safe to say that they are uh, they're basically universally praised um, even criticisms I see of it are very mild. Uh, mostly just a bloat. But anyway, in one of the introductions to his uh, Stormlight Archives books, if I remember correctly, he said something like he had had the idea for the story and it took him 10 years to write a word of it because he thought he wasn't a good enough writer to uh, to tell the story he wanted to tell in at the quality that it deserved. So that's kind of how I feel about this Legend of the Galactic Heroes things, like, I can't even get my thumbnails to look good, you know, I need to work on it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's talk about some history, that's what people care about, let's talk about good news, uh, on this channel. So, obviously, I want to cover historical topics, uh, what those will be, I don't have a broad, I don't have a specific set of ideas, like, I don't think I'm going to be somebody, like, you didn't know there's channels out there that dedicate themselves specifically to Roman history, uh, for example, um, I don't think this would be something like that. It'd be much more broad. It would be much more haphazard. Um, I guess in some ways I would like to be a channel kind of like Bread Sword. I don't know if anybody's heard of Bread Sword, but that's a channel who... His general theme seems to be that he analyzes cartoons. Um, but I always feel pretty safe clicking on any random video of his and getting some quality out of it. So, for example, there was one he did last summer where it was just, oh, this is, a, it was about Robin Hood, and it's like, is this a video about the history of Robin Hood in 20th century cinema? Sign me the hell up! And, you know, it's, like, what a what a, what a thing, like, you know, to, 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 to say, it's like, how do you explain that to somebody? It's like, oh, this guy, he has a video, it's on 
Robin Hood and how he's portrayed in cinema in the 20th century and then in the post 9-11 world and how it sort of culminate the culmination of uh, uh, of all that's best about Robin Hood was in the uh, the Disney cartoon of all things um, and uh, and how uh, everything that's great about Robin Hood has been destroyed uh, in the 21st century that sounds really esoteric and weird and yet hundreds of thousands of people watched that video they liked it I liked it um, uh, or, or maybe another example would be Dr. Sadler. He's a, he's a guy on YouTube who's a philosophy professor. And he's probably most famous for his half-hour Hegel lecture series. Uh, but he also has a lecture series on the birth of heavy metal and how it evolved in the 1970s. So, um, yeah, there's going to be like a grand history tapestry, but the details of it uh, will vary. But some ideas off the top of my head uh, th th that I've had before and um, I've wanted to do and I want to work on is a, like a talking about what are the potential start and end dates of the French Revolution, uh, what those dates mean to different historical schools of thought. Um, I've got notes on that. I just need to record them. Like I've written a bunch of stuff down already. Uh Speaking of which, that could be an interesting idea. Uh, explaining different schools of historical thought. Uh, that'd be interesting for me and like 10 other people in the world who care about that sort of stuff. Uh, I've, I Actually, something I've wanted to do is, is like I guess you could call them some introduction videos. Videos that could be useful for anybody who watches the channel. Because I know there's going to be terms that I end up throwing around a lot, like historiography. Uh, maybe do a video just saying, hey, this is what historiography is, so that, you know, people can understand it. And make those short, and, and those, those would be short videos. Like, just, just, you know, little, doing the tutorial in the video game, right? Or do something like how to read a history book. Kind of explain, like, how I was taught to read history books. And what I think is the most efficient way to do that. That could be useful for students. Things like that. Um, maybe do history of specific historians. Uh, there's actually this one ancient Greek historian that, um, I don't want to get into it right now, but, uh, he was somebody who I thought had only wrote one book, but I found out he wrote several books and he had actually a very, very exciting personal life. And I was going, I didn't know about any of this stuff. <laughs> you know, it's, it was this weird blind spot. Um, but, uh. Uh, but th that could be also something, you know, whenever I'm doing some personal reading or I'm doing reading for school or, or whatever, or for a job, it's like, oh, this is, this is interesting. I'm, let me get it out on the channel. Let me scream into the void. Uh, doing things like, but you know, some of it wouldn't also be strictly history. Maybe I could be like, but there could be like historical fiction, uh, maybe linking books together. There could be fiction or nonfiction. Uh, so for example, I had this idea just yesterday of uh there's these three books i have um that are all they're not they're not history books they're fiction but they're in historical settings and uh i kind of thought these are all linked together even though they were written decades apart like, there's there's a there's something that binds them and i wonder if that was deliberate and uh that could be, I don't know, a book club idea where I, or I just do a... Uh, it's like, okay, we're going to read one book a month of these three. And uh, every two weeks I'll put up a video saying where I'm at and let's see how we're feeling. Uh, you know, analysis of art and artists. Uh, I got all this stuff that's in my mind. And none of it's on paper. Well, some of it's on paper, but it's certainly not on the channel yet. And uh, there was a quote. Mike Duncan used in his Storm Before the Storm book, uh, it was something like, uh, boldness without strength is merely madness. Uh, and I've got to go crazy if I don't get this stuff down on paper or in a video or I just get it out of my head. Um, though, gosh, it could be frustrating. I'm almost done here, but just like a quick side story. So I had, I had spoken with some people, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I encourage you to check out my bookshelf review, although I've now reorganized my books. They're much better now, the way I've organized them. Uh, but I have a bookshelf tour that I did uh, a couple of months ago. It's on the channel. And after I, I had done that after talking to a couple of people because the idea would be that, you know, oh, show all my bookshelves. And then people would go, oh, I'd like to know more about that person or that book. And then I would have a, a starting point for um, putting some history stuff on the channel. Like, I don't know. Somebody went, 
I've never read David McCulloch's Path Between the Seas. What's that about? Talk about the Suez, talk about or talk about the Panama Canal. Um, and I got two comments on this video, and I think I deleted them both because I was just so pissed and frustrated. Is uh, somebody said, "Hey, could you talk about uh, Sigmund Freud's civilization and its discontents?" Which was not on my bookshelf, like hundreds of fucking books, and, and they picked one I didn't have. And then there was some other goddamn book somebody brought up too, but it, it was just, it was just so freaking frustrating. And there's been another couple of frustrating things with this channel, but. <sighs> It, you know, it gets on your nerves, but I gotta, like, just learn to push through it. I need to read some more Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and get through it. Um, anyway, uh, this video's already gotten longer than it needed to be. Uh, as the Romans say, Initium Dimidium Facti, except they probably pronounced it correctly, the start is half the deed! Uh, so I'm gonna end this video now, and get to work, um, and, uh, I'm not promising there's going to be a whole lot this year, especially come January. It's going to start picking up. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm Voyages in Time, and or this is Voyages in Time, and uh, let me go get that rocket ship fueled so we can go on these voyages. Happy Armistice Day, everybody. Well, happy as a day like that could be. Uh, good night.